Hey guys, just a quick one for the fashion playlist. Uh, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes for um, a lady to put on a kimono if she has another lady helping or another person helping. Um, 30 to 40 minutes is probably enough to do it. Um, so that makes a bit of a long video. So it's faster to take them off than it is to put them on, of course. So I thought I'd show you um, the layers because obviously there's lots of layers. So seeing the layers of it coming off um, is, is quicker than seeing it going on, of course. So this should give you a bit of an idea. So there was... Um, uh, one of my subscribers was asking me, oh, just to stop a minute, let's have a look at the feet. Um, the feet, those socks are called tubby, and it's sort of a pretty unforgiving stiff cotton, usually. Um, not as comfortable as they look, actually. They're sort of a stiff sock for people that are used to sort of flexible, springy, uh, uh, elastic sort of socks those tabby are a bit uncomfortable actually we use them in martial arts as well they're, they're quite common in um, traditional Japanese clothes for guys and girls but you're yeah, not comfortable those those socks anyway you can see the layers starting to come off here and there's quite a lot of it very uncomfortable is the old kimono the girls are never relaxed when they're wearing them they obviously can't can't really relax because they've got all these layers of everything around them. So they can't, s they have to sit very upright. Um, they can't lean back against a chair or a seat. They can't lean back. They have to sort of sit upright and support themselves. So they can't sort of lean back and relax because, you know, they've got all that goings on there behind them. That's all sort of, you could see when it was in one piece, that uh, Olby, that belt um, is quite, sort of intricate at the back when it's all put together and leaning against it's not a good thing to do so it means they have to sit upright and sit sort of straight and yeah so they can't relax so when they're peeling these things off there's always a lot of relief going on ah you know <laughs> thank god that's over sort of thing so they look fabulous but like most formal wear we we're talking about this today western formal wear is the same isn't it why is it that formal uh, elegant clothes are always uncomfortable. Just the way it is, isn't it? So you can see that layers coming off and the piles on both sides getting bigger. It's like unwrapping one of those, you know, I don't know if you guys have it in your countries, but we used to have, when I was a kid, pass the parcel. So you have a present in the middle and lots of layers on the outside. It's like that. No, it's not really like that, but it's a, it's an image, isn't it? So we're getting down towards the inside layer now. You can see that padding, that pink thing, that padding, and the towels that are underneath it. The idea is um, with kimono that it takes out all the bumps. So curvy shapes are not cool with the kimono. It's supposed to be straight up and down. So like a, the body's supposed to be like a cylinder. So no curves um, is sort of what they're aiming for. So they put all this padding and stuff on to try and hide the curves because they want like a cylinder shape happening. So that's why this padding and the wool and the towels and stuff. And you can also look like Santa if you want to. Anyway, that was a strange one for you. More videos coming soon.